Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda John and I'm a life and style blogger at Strawberry Chic and today I have a huge vacation haul for you guys. So I have a lot of fun things to share, a lot of good basics and summer essentials, lots of good swimwear. So if you want to see what I picked up for this cruise, then keep watching. So I'm going to start with swimwear because that was kind of where this haul started and I find that just shopping for swimwear in general is so hard. No one enjoys it, at least I've met, never met anyone that enjoys swimwear shopping. And it takes a lot of trial and error. So I actually ordered a ton of swimsuits and just returned them if they didn't work because I just knew there was going to be a lot of trial and error when it came to it. So these are the ones that I kept and that I really love. I feel like these are my favorite swimsuits that I've ever had. So the first one I think is my favorite swimsuit. And this is actually a one piece. So this is my first one piece ever I think and this one is from Abercrombie it's a sea sucker one piece it has a cute little bow tie in the center and the back has like a scooped out back and it also comes with a strap option so I am typically a 34B and around a 4 or a 6 and I purchased the medium that was perfect overall one pieces can definitely be challenging just because they have to be long enough for your body they have to fit you everywhere perfectly so there can definitely be, you know, a lot of patience when it comes to swimwear shopping. This one was almost too big for me and the top, but if I hooked it on the tightest strap, it worked for me. This is another one piece, and this was actually 15 bucks on Amazon, so I figured I could not go wrong. It's a baby pink one piece scallop suit, and I love that the scallops go all the way around to the back. The back hits right at the bra line, so it's not too low, and I ordered a medium in this. This probably won't be the first suit that I reach for. It's not my absolute favorite. It fits a little strange through here. The scallops are really large. And I questioned whether or not I should exchange for a small, but I figured I'd rather it just be bigger in general. If you do order this swimsuit, just go ahead and know you will need to switch out the pads that come with it. The ones that came with it were absolutely ridiculous. They were just weird circles and not cute. So I had already had some pads. I think I put some from Lululemon. I don't know why, but I have never really been the type of person to buy matching swim tops and bottoms. I really like to mix and match and create kind of a swim collection for the summer that I can use anything that I buy with each other. I don't know if I just feel like it's saving money because I'm not spending double the amount on a swimsuit. That's probably has a little bit to do with it. But in general, I just like to mix and match. So I buy a lot of good solid, either tops or bottoms. I saw this one from the J. Crew Factory, and I just really liked the pink color and the ruffle detail on the strap, which I have seen a lot lately this season. But I personally really love it because I have a scar on the upper part of my back, and these ruffles always cover them. So I picked up a couple of these. If you're looking for really affordable but really good quality, basic plain tops and bottoms. Definitely check out J. Crew Factory. This is a size small and then I did also pick up the bottom because it is full coverage which was definitely challenging to find especially this year. So this one will cover all your booty and it's really flattering on. And again this I actually picked up in a medium for the bottoms just to keep it a little more covered. So the next bottom is actually my first ever high-waisted bottom. I swore them off like three years ago because I tried one from Aerie and it just wasn't right for my body. So what you're looking for when it comes to finding the right high-waisted bottom is to make sure it comes up all the way to your natural waist. You definitely don't want it to hit right below. That was the problem with a lot of them for me. This one came up just enough and it's more structured than the ones I tried in the past. So I think they are extremely flattering and they're also just make me so much more comfortable. I didn't pick up the matching top. Again, I just, I'm not really about all the matchingness and I knew I had this orange top that I thought would go with the leaves on this. This is an old one from Target so they probably, I probably won't find it. But just look and see what you already have and just update, you know, a little bit here and there. So I think this works together. This one is from ASOS, or ASOS, I don't know how to say it, so I'm sorry if I drive you crazy pronouncing it wrong. This piece, I love the tiered ruffles, especially if you are small busted, this will be your best friend. The back is just a standard tie, but I would wear these with the lemon bottoms or this next bottom that I'll share. I didn't pick up the bottoms that match this. 
just because on the model, honestly, I thought they looked a little strange, a little too high-waisted, a little too 80s for me. <laughs> this gingham bottom is from PacSun, and I picked this up for $11.99, and I love that it is full coverage. It's definitely the thick on the thicker side for the bands, but you can kind of make it look a little more high-waisted. This is like my favorite color print, and I think it will look really great with the pinks, but also this top from H&M. This will be hard to show you guys on camera. But I liked how these prints mixed together, the floral with the gingham, and the colors worked perfectly. This is a size 8 bathing suit from H&M, and it has the same ruffle as the one from J. Crew. This one's a lot bigger. Again, I loved it to cover that scar in the back. I believe I got this for $12.99 during a sale. And I did actually order the matching bottoms for this, but they were honestly horrible. It looked like my butt was eating them alive <laughs> because it had that scrunchy thing right in the center that I honestly can't stand. And H&M did a really good job of hiding. Like, they didn't show any pictures of the bottoms on any swimsuits that I was looking at. So I just had to go into it blindly, but I just returned them, and I kept the top. Definitely size up in H&M anyway but swimwear I would size up at least probably two sizes I could have easily worn a 10 I could have even probably worn a 12 because they are adjustable so keep that in mind when shopping at H&M especially for their swimsuits I found these high-waisted shorts they're high-rise they do cover your belly button but I really loved them because I haven't really tried any high-rise shorts and now you'll see that's all I bought this year I'm loving the trend because I have more of an hourglass shape. These are really stretchy and comfortable and I don't have a pair of lighter washed so I wanted to pick these up. I hear a lot about the Madewell Basic Tees and they are 10 of my blogger friends favorites and I can definitely see why because it fit really nice. Some of them can be a little tight in the shoulders and then baggy. I don't know why the ratio is off on me. But this one was pretty perfect. I love the color. It's pretty similar to the top I'm wearing right now. I got a small, and I live in pocket tees on the weekend. I travel in them. I even wear them to work. So I knew I'd get a lot of wear out of this. This was $19.50. So if you've been looking for a good basic, definitely check out Madewell. I wanted to get, I'll probably pick up the white one and a couple other colors as the season goes on. So this gingham top actually drew me into the store to begin with. This is my absolute favorite color, and I love that it ties at the waist which is perfect if you are wearing high waist shorts I wouldn't say this is crop toppy though it's not any shorter than a normal shirt the back has a really cute button detail which, which makes getting in and out of this really easy you don't have to worry about getting makeup on it this top is really affordable I found it on the sale rack and they were having an additional 50% off the sale price so this came out to a really good price I think $25 and I really liked how lightweight it was. It's really breathable and the way it's kind of a baby doll top because it kind of stops right here of the girls and it just kind of floats around your waistline so it's really cool throughout the summer months. And the cap sleeves, typically these never work on me because I do have broader shoulders but this one worked. So I think May Mill knew what they were doing when it came to this. This would be a really great top throughout summer. It's also not see-through. I can get away with without wearing a tank top, which I love. This would be great for the 4th of July or like I'd, riding a bike at the beach. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got at Madewell. Next, I did place an order at ASOS. ASOS? I don't know. Basically, I just wanted that bathing suit top, but of course I found a couple other things to add to my order. Their shipping is so great two-day free shipping if you spend I think over a hundred so got this tank top I really liked the button detail and I will say I was surprised that this isn't see-through so they did a great job with that because they made sure that this wasn't gonna gap in any funny way I do wish it went down a little longer but I understand why they did that just to make it a little more comfortable at the waistline so I would definitely wear these with more high waist shorts. I'm actually on the fence with this top just because of how low it is and it is a little more see-through than I would like, but I am just a sucker for these bows. And if you don't love bows, to be honest, you're probably not, not following with me because any of my hauls have a bow or a ruffle or a peplum or a button or a scallop, basically. But you can always tie this in a knot and just let them hang down. So you can get creative with that if you don't love the oversized bow look. I personally love it. I think it's so cute. This would be, again, 
great with just some basic shorts or you could dress it up and wear it tucked into a nice skirt, that type of thing. But I am on the fence about it because of how low it is. You would definitely want to wear something underneath this just because it also is a little see-through. This is a cover-up from ASOS and I actually sized down in this because they were sold out of every size. But you can totally get away with basically, I feel like, any size in this cover-up because you do use the strings to make it fit you. So I feel like any size goes in this, but this is just a nice striped cover-up. I figured on the cruise I would basically just be living in a bathing suit and cover-up for the whole day, so I definitely needed to pick up some new cover-ups. I actually don't even have any, so I bought a couple more. This one is from TJ Maxx, and I'm always drawn to this color. It's like the basic tee. It's pretty similar to this top. And I really liked the kind of linen look of this fabric, but also the side detail has a fun little, I don't know what I would describe this as, because it's not really a palm, but it's just a fun little detail. And this was $24.99. I don't know if I'll find this online for you guys, but it is from the brand Laura Bianc or something. And then the last cover up I picked up was from the J. Crew Factory, and I was torn on getting the blue or the pink. But I've just been so drawn to this blue. I think with my blue eyes it just looks the best. And I really liked the scallop detail on the neckline. It's on the hemline and the sleeves. This material is really lightweight, but it will definitely get wrinkly. I've already steamed this and it's already wrinkling up. But that's okay because it's cute. <laughs> I wore these chambray shorts from the J. Crew Factory yesterday to a baby shower. And I love the ruffle detail on the waistline and also on the pocket. I liked that these shorts were definitely a little more on the dressier side. I didn't have to worry about, like, it's not a jean. It's a chambray, so you can dress them up, which is why I wore them to the shower with, like, espadrilles and a white shirt, and it looked cute. I picked up a size 4, and it fits me perfectly. It doesn't gap at my waist, which typically happens because with my butt, I'll have to get a 4, but then in my waist, I'm typically a 2 but these were tailored really good, so they actually fit me perfectly. And I wore this top with the shorts yesterday tucked in. This is a size small, and it's definitely more of an off-white, like a creamy white, which I did like. And then I did buy two of these tassels. I have them together right now because I was trying to see how it would look. But I really like how the bag charms and the tassels look on the straw bags that you have seen, probably. I will link the one I ordered down below, but my friend, Peaches to Pearls, I'll leave her blog down below. She had an adorable charm on her straw bag and that's what kind of inspired me. So I'll leave, I have a picture of me, I actually held her bag for an outfit photo. So I picked these up to put on that bag and these were I think $4.99 each. The last thing I got at the J. Crew factory are these espadrilles and these I was going to pick up the pair from Soul Society but they sold out and these look pretty much identical and the reviews on them were so good and everyone was talking about how comfortable they were so I knew I'd get a lot of wear out of these. I got them, I wore these yesterday so I'm not touching the bottom but they do, J. Crew factory their shoes always run a little smaller in my opinion so and these don't have half sizes so the eight that I picked up is a teeny bit small I wish I could have gotten an eight and a half but they don't have that option so I just kept the eight I really like the camel color and these were so comfortable I wore them yesterday to the shower and then I had a lot of errands to run and so I actually ended up wearing them for about six hours I placed an order at Target because I really wanted these shoes they were $25 and I just thought they were a good height and really casual because I've been noticing that I have really struggled with finding neutral shoes that aren't too dressy or too high something I could wear a long time and I thought these would be perfect because they're a block heel, but they're really short, but they're, they're still a little something. So I would be comfortable wearing these with shorts and that type of thing. So this is not a typical purchase for me, but I thought this would be perfect for the cruise because I knew I was going to need some sort of comfortable bag to take with me everywhere basically because I'm going to have my camera and probably still have my phone and just my cruise card and all that. So when I saw this one from Target for $25, I loved my, these are all my favorite colors, the mint and the baby pink, so I definitely knew this would be the perfect bag. It's more of a drawstring bag, and it is waterproof, so it's perfect for the pool. I fell in love with these basic tops from Abercrombie, and I picked up two, actually. So I got this gray and 
cream. It almost looks yellowy because it's so creamy. And then I got this baby blue color. And I just adore the waist detail. These I picked up for $12. I've seen them range anywhere from $9 to $20. I think right now they're $20. I picked up the medium just because I wanted it to be really comfortable and I didn't want anything tight on my arms or sleeves, especially for the summer months. And they look really boxy on the hanger, but they actually fall really nicely and look really flattering on. And then I actually had a lot of success at Zara. So I typically don't go in there that often because it's really overwhelming. And sometimes their prices can be a little more than I want to spend. This was my favorite purchase. These are a pair of high-waisted shorts. I got a size medium. So they don't look too short when you're standing there because the ruffle gives it some good length. But if you do bend over in these shorts, definitely do it with grace and kind of like curtsy. Don't go just bending over because you'll be showing way too much booty that no one needs to see. I think it would be adorable with a white tank and a red lipstick on 4th of July. It'll be so cute. So I, I think that was like my favorite thing from Zara that I picked up. So this is a similar pair of shorts with the ruffle. It's just a lot smaller. I liked this like buttery bubble pink color. These are a lot more thick and they're a little more of a dressy material, but I wouldn't say these are dressy because they are pretty short. This top from Zara basically has it all. I swear it has the ruffle, it has the peplum, and then it has the bows in the back. So I feel like this is like a little bow peep top the color and all the ruffles but it is just so precious the it is a little bit lower so I would probably just wear a bandeau underneath to be safe and the last thing from Zara is this romper I actually bought this thinking I would wear it just as a pool cover-up but now looking back I think it'd be really cute with espadrilles and a hat so I feel like you can go either way with this and the sleeves are like a puffy look and they're off the shoulder I really like the tie little tassel at the waist. So I'll definitely get my money's worth because I'll wear this at the pool, but I'll also wear it like to dinner. So I just have a couple miscellaneous things that I bought for the cruise. I have heard everyone talking about this book, so I bought it and I plan to read it by the pool. It's Girl, Wash Your Face from Rachel Hollis. That will be probably the only thing I read on the cruise. And then I got this invisible setting powder from super goop it has spf 45 so i figured i could just reapply with this i still will probably wear a hat and all that but i just thought this made reapplication really easy and then i picked up this sugar lip treatment this is in the color petal and gal meets glam or julia engel always talks about these these are basically what she wears every single day and I really wanted to pick up this color because it's a really good neutral, but this has SPF 15 in it, so I thought it'd be perfect for the cruise and basically the only lip color that I have to bother wearing. That's everything that I picked up for vacation. I'll leave all the links to all the products that I mentioned as well as the pricing and sizing info down in the description box below. Definitely keep your eyes peeled for a cruise vlog and also a packing video so you can see everything that I'm bringing on the cruise with me in the next couple weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.